Hey guys, it's Chris Nichols here again from the camera store. You may remember me from such productions as The Hood is Good or Focal Length and Matter Perspective, but today I'd like to talk to you about the Panasonic ZS7. This is a beautiful camera. This is actually replacing the ZS3, which is one of our best-selling cameras, and it was our best-selling camera because it's compact, it's easy to use, it's got a nice grip on it, and yet it gave you a killer 12 times optical zoom. What Panasonic's doing with their new ZS7 is basically building on that camera, adding some features that people are asking for, and just giving us uh, a very easy to use camera with some more advanced features. Let's get right into what's been added. Uh, GPS, that's a big one. We're gonna show you guys that today, how the GPS system works. You can now tag where you are, you can do geotagging with your photos. It's very easy to use, built into the camera. Other cool thing that people really wanted on this camera is manual control. It seemed to have everything, but it was strictly point and shoot. Now they have given you a program, aperture priority, shutter priority, and manual mode on the camera to use as well. They claim that the image stabilization is almost twice as effective as it was before. This is bringing back a lot of their great features, such as intelligent auto, which can automatically detect if you're doing a landscape or a portrait or macro, works great. Flash power has been tweaked a little bit here, and uh, that same high def quality video mode with stereo sound. So we're gonna get in here today, guys. I wanna show you a lot of the features of the camera, what they've added. Um, they've kept the same 12 times zoom lens, but uh, there's, there's a lot of contention about this. They've added a new 16 times zoom option. Now this is using their intelligent resolution technology. This is a big one, it's kind of magical. We're gonna talk about how it works. All right, guys, here we are in Calgary, second day of spring, so of course it's freezing cold and it's snowing. We're outside Webster Galleries, they're our neighbors, and uh, we're going to take a shot here and show you how the GPS system works. It's pretty basic. We just set it up to update outside. It took about, uh, about a minute, and it picked up all the satellites. We've got good uh, coordinates now, and if I take a shot, it's going to automatically tag that GPS data right into the photo. Super easy. So I'll take my shot here. There we are. And if we go to playback, we're going to see it right on here. We go to our info, and it shows Webster Galleries in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. It'll also tag the latitude and longitude in the EXIF data, and you can then go and you can track your shots, where you've been, and Google Maps, and things like that. Super easy to use, very, very basic. Okay, guys, let's talk about what makes the ZS series of cameras so great in the first place. That's this 12 times optical zoom. It's a really nice range. That's why it was such a popular camera. I'm going to show you guys the wide angle first, and you're actually getting a 25 millimeter wide angle equivalent. Now, this is wider than most cameras go in the point and shoot market. It's a beautiful range, perfect for landscape. Let's take a shot here so you can see that perspective. Okay. Now from that we're going to zoom to the maximum 12 times optical zoom on this camera. That's going to give you a 300 millimeter equivalent. It's perfect for wildlife, gets you far, far off objects close, close into the frame. And there we go. Two very dramatically different shots because of that big, big zoom range. However, we can take this one step further thanks to Panasonic's new intelligent resolution feature. It's a pretty complicated system. It looks at different areas of your photograph, the textures, the edges, the gradations, and it sharpens the photograph without costing too much quality loss or noise. One of the things that the camera can do then is it can digitally zoom to a 16 times optical range, but maintain the image quality in a very usable way. They're saying and claiming that you're gonna avoid a lot of that uh, quality loss that digital zoom would normally cost you. We're gonna do some test shots so you can see this for yourself. Now let's zoom to that 16 times zoom. Let's get our Husky L shot here in frame and go 16 times. It's a little bit further, it's not super dramatic, but it gets you that extra step closer and the quality should be very, very similar in both sharpness and noise. The video mode on these cameras is amazing and they're very unique too. First off, this camera is recording an AVC HD light at 720p, so it's easy to throw onto Blu-ray, it's easy to edit and it's well supported. But the other thing I love about this is some of the, the small features. When you're doing video, you get stereo recording, which is nice. And you've got a one-touch button here on the back that you can push to start your video, so there's no need to switch mode dials or anything like that. And uniquely about this camera, very few other cameras support this. You can actually zoom optically while you're doing your video. If I start my video here, there's Jordan. We start it here. <laughs> he looks excited. Now, as I pan here, I can start to zoom and the camera will literally start to optically zoom with the pan. It's great. Very few cameras do this. A lot of them will digitally zoom the shot. That just looks terrible, especially when you're dealing with the low resolution that video offers. So I love that feature. Very, very nice. It's almost like a camcorder. All right, I want to show you guys how Intelligent Auto works on a Panasonic. It's a great system. 
what it basically does, instead of going just to an automatic mode, Intelligent Auto will actually detect if you're shooting a macro or shooting a landscape or shooting a portrait. But it's best to see how that works here. You don't have to set anything. That's the great part. It's going to do it for you. And you still do have scene controls on the top of the camera if you do want to set a specific scene like sunset or landscape for a particular situation. But if you just want this to be easy and point and shoot, it'll do it for you. Now check this out. If I put my hand in front of the shot and try to focus on it, the camera simply detects that it's a macro and then lets me take the shot. I don't have to go into a macro mode or readjust my focus or anything like that. It's fully automatic. Here's the other cool thing. Of course, modern cameras now support face recognition software, so the camera will detect if it's a portrait, if it sees a face. But we can go one step further. Uh, Jordan complains that he never is in these videos enough. So what we did ahead of time is we programmed in his name into the, sh into the camera. And it'll actually take multiple shots and detect his face. So now it knows what Jordan looks like. It's creepy. So we're going to get Jordan here in the front. He's going to kneel down, and it should pick up his face and identify him by name. There we are. So you can see it automatically goes into portrait mode, and there it says Jord. So it really works if your friends only have four-letter names, okay, or less. But one of the other great things about this is you can then take shots or videos and go in, and yes, this does work in video mode too, and use the software that they provide, and then you can say, well, bring up all the photos that have Jordan in it, and we'll simply find all the photos tagged with his name and his face and bring them up. It's a great way to stay organized. Uh, you can also put it in the order of preference, who you'd rather the camera focused on. So you can get very judgmental with this camera. It's fantastic. All right, guys, so we're standing here next to our camera store swag. This is a subtle way to plug the swag, buy it. But let's finish up with this camera here. You know, there was very little reason not to buy a Panasonic ZS3 last year. They were such cool cameras, very small with a great zoom range. We sold a ton. But now there really isn't any reason not to buy a ZS7. If you're looking for something compact with a huge zoom range, something you can travel with, that now also has the GPS and now also has the manual control, gives you amazing video that you can zoom optically with, has a beautiful almost half megapixel resolution screen, three inches big, you know, super easy to use automatic mode. I mean, this thing does everything. It's fantastic. If you want something portable and light, you can have it. If you want something that's got manual control that you can be creative with, this does it. And if you want something that you can have a big zoom range with, this has it too. I mean, we highly recommend this camera. It's flexible, they're easy to use, they're fun, and they do a lot of stuff. Look for this camera at our store.